The very first flight in its conventional form took place barely 110 years ago. But in this period of time, we went from near disbelief in flight to manufacturing of gigantic machines, which wings span across a football field and that can lift half a million pounds. In this episode, you'll find the largest aircraft that seem to defy the laws of physics. And even though you must have seen dozens of videos about the biggest aircraft in the world, this one will still be worth your while, since it includes the latest models that have been created up until 2019. Plus, we'll provide you with the detailed specifications and even prices of some aircraft. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy your flight! Stratolaunch Model 351 this massive aircraft stands out among all other similarly sized flying machines as it was designed as an alternative way of sending off satellites into space using the company-developed launch vehicles. For their safer deployment, the model was given the largest ever wingspan reaching 385 feet and the unusual twin fuselage construction. Powered by six Boeing 747 engines, the aircraft can carry a maximum payload of 500,000 pounds or 227 tons but its range is limited to 1,000 nautical miles. The humongous plane completed its first flight on April 13, 2019, reaching a speed of 165 knots and the altitude of 17,000 feet. It stayed in the air for two and a half hours. But unfortunately, after the untimely death of the company's founder Paul Allen, project has been put on halt, and the aircraft, along with all the intellectual property of the company, has been put on sale for the price of $400 million. Boeing 777-300ER The 777 is a wide-body airliner sold in six modifications that mostly differ by fuselage length and range. The 300ER is a stretched extended-range version of the original 200 model. It can accommodate up to 550 passengers in an all-economy configuration and is able to travel up to 7,370 nautical miles while carrying 396 people. The aircraft is powered by two General Electric GE-90 turbofans that are currently considered the most powerful jet engines in the world. Compared to the regular 200 model, the ER also has the increased wingspan of 212 feet. Today it is the best-selling aircraft in the 777 family, mostly due to the low operating cost of $44 per seat hour. Airbus Beluga XL one of the strangest looking airplanes that currently exists is undoubtedly the Airbus Beluga that gets its name from a resembling Arctic and sub-Arctic cetacean, the Beluga Whale. In fall 2019, the new generation of this aircraft will enter service and it is labeled the Beluga XL or Airbus A330-743L. The major mission of the newcomer is to transport oversized aircraft components between Airbus's production facilities. In fact, with 30% more capacity than the existing Beluga, it is able to carry two entire A350XWB wings instead of one. The giant is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 700 turbofans that make 316 kN or 71,000 pound force of thrust each and allow it to carry 50.5 tons of payloads at the cruise speed of 398 knots. The development and production of the Beluga XL project cost Airbus 1 billion euros and it is not expected to be sold to other companies. Airbus A340-600 Designed for the flights on intercontinental routes, the 600 modification is the largest member of the A340 long-range airliners family. It began commercial services in August 2002. Being 11 meters longer than the original version, namely 247 feet, the A340-600 is also the longest aircraft produced by the company. In comparison with the basic variant, it has a larger wingspan and wing area, elongated fuselage, as well as four more powerful and economical Trent 556 engines. The plane offers increased cruise speed and fuel capacity, and in order to cope with the extra weight, the Airbus engineers added additional four-wheel central landing gear. The production of the A340 airliners was stopped in 2011, but despite this fact, the 600 still successfully serves all over the world. Anton of N22A Ante In service since 1967, the Ante is the world's largest turboprop transport aircraft that was produced in the Soviet Union till 1976. Several modifications of the model were developed for the military use, but only 68 units were ever built. The Ante is a four-engine high-winged aircraft 
with two tail fins and tail cargo hatch. The aircraft's wingspan reaches 211 feet and it can carry up to 60 tons of cargo, covering up to 2700 nautical miles without refueling. In addition, this plane is capable of operating on unpaved runways. According to the latest data, as of 2018, five and 22s remain in service within the Russian Air Force, while a single unit was re-equipped into a commercial carrier by the Ukrainian Antonov Airlines. This model has an onboard crane and an inclined ramp that can be operated at various levels, which allows to perform loading both from the ground and from the platform. By the way, once you have finished watching this video, make sure to leave your feedback in the comments below and suggest any topic you would like us to cover on this channel. Thanks in advance, your input is priceless. Let's keep going. Boeing 747-8 This giant could be considered the flagship of Boeing, and currently it is the largest commercial aircraft produced in the USA. The 747 is offered an intercontinental passenger version and the freighter, the latter one being in much higher demand by the operators. Depending on the configuration, the plane can transport the maximum of 410 people on two decks or the payload of 292,400 pounds to the distance of 8,000 or 1,120 nautical miles respectively. It is worth mentioning that Boeing was contracted to build two new Air Force One aircraft for the President of the United States. The project will cost $3.9 billion and the latest 747-8i will serve as the platform to replace the aging VC-25A. In 2019, the number of produced liners has reached 133, and another 17 are back ordered. However, the fate of the plane is unknown beyond 2022. Airbus A380 This wide body double deck passenger airliner has been in development for almost 10 years, with Airbus spending at least 15 billion for the program and launching the aircraft into service in 2007. The A380 is the largest passenger aircraft in the world, both by its size and weight, exceeding the capacity of its main competitor Boeing 747 by 35%. The company offers two cabin configurations for ordering. The typical three-class layout accommodates up to 525 passengers, while an all-economy class is certified for maximum 853 passengers carrying capacity. The model's wing area is 9,100 square feet, and its maximum takeoff weight is 575 tons. Depending on the modification, this giant is lifted into the air by four Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or Engine Alliance GP7200 engines. We must also mention that Airbus is considering building an even larger, stretched version of the A380, seating up to 960 passengers. Antonov N124-100 Ruslan the development of Ruslan was forced by the absence of long-range heavy lift support within the USSR Air Force. As usual, the Soviets went for the overkill, and for 30 years since its first flight in 1982, had the strategic airlift quadjet kept the title of the world's heaviest cross-weight production cargo airplane, until the Boeing 747-8F dethroned it all the way in 2012. All in all, 55 units of N124 have been produced, both commercial and military. And surprisingly, as of today, 46 remain operational. Its wingspan reaches 240 feet, and powered by four Progress D18T turbofans, it manages to carry a payload of 330,000 pounds to the distance of 2,808 nautical miles. Interestingly, as of today, NATO allies use the Soviet aircraft during some overseas missions, and there is demand for new planes, though their production is questionable due to the Ukraine Russia war. Lockheed Martin C-5 Galaxy and C-5M Super Galaxy This military transport aircraft has been developed exclusively for the United States Air Force and since 1969 it has been operated rather successfully, supporting the US military in all major conflicts, but also distributing humanitarian and disaster relief aid. In total, 131 planes were built and after 2006 many of them were modernized into the C-5M variant. The aircraft received four new General Electric turbofan engines, producing 22% more thrust, they got an upgraded frame and skin, plus a more modern pressurization system and cockpit. The updated flyers were named Super Galaxy and are now expected to continue serving beyond 2040. The model is able to transport up to 130 tons of cargo, 
only lagging behind the Ukrainian giants in terms of airlift capability. Antonov An-225 Maria Without a doubt, this airplane, developed by the Antonov Design Bureau during the 1980s, is the most remarkable flying machine in the world. The auxiliary name of the craft is translated from Ukrainian as the Trim, while the NATO designation is Cossack. The strategic airlift cargo aircraft is an enlargement of the successful Antonov N-124, and it is powered by six turbofans, producing 51,600-pound force of thrust each. It was originally manufactured with a specific mission to transport the USSR version of the space shuttle called the Buran. However, since the Soviet Union collapsed, the space plane project was never finished and the single unit of Maria transitioned into service within the Ukrainian and ton of airlines. Since then it has been refurbished and today the Maria carries out commercial missions transporting cargoes of extreme weights. In fact, its absolute record is airlifting the total payloads of 559,580 pounds, or nearly 254 tons. Do you think aircraft will become even more massive in the future, or has the era of gigantic planes already passed? Share your predictions in the comments below. Please leave your suggestions about the next episodes, like, share, and subscribe to Elpas Crow. Do not hesitate to watch other episodes suggested on the screen, and may the torque be with you!